Well, Deck, um, well played today. How good a point does that feel? Oh, it's massive, um, especially after we didn't come out in the first half and, and play like we can. Um, we showed great character today to come get back into the game and feel like we should have come away with the win. Um, that second half performance, I think, deserved the three points. I know you won't want to give too many secrets away, but give me a flavour of what the dressing room was like at half-time. Um, probably wouldn't want to be in there, um, <laughs> but uh, it worked. So that's the main thing. The gaffer knows what he's got to do to get the team going, and um, it shows his, his great leadership skills. And he, he, he basically told us what we wanted, what he wanted us to do, and um, we went out there and done exactly what he said. That's how we should have done it in the first half, but fortunately for us, we got back into the game second half and come away with the point. Was it one of the angriest you've ever seen him at halftime today? Um, I wouldn't say angry, I'd say more determined. Um, he wanted to make sure we went out there and gave a good account of ourselves because we wasn't doing that in the first half. So um, he definitely done that. Um, he made us go out there, gave us the belief, put a bit of anger in our in our bellies, and we went out there. We won every tackle, we won every header, and we we nearly nearly got the three points. Which in the first half it wasn't looking like we was going to do that. And actually in the first half Norwich needed needed you a couple of very smart saves, diving at players' feet. Yeah, well that's what the goalkeeper's there for. At the end of the day, um, is the last line of defence and. If he's there and he can stop the ball, then great. And if, he's, if he doesn't stop the ball, then he's not doing his job. So um, I just m luck was, got lucky enough to get myself in, in the way of the ball and keep it out. And um, the, other, the rest of the lads in the second half made sure that um, they got the goal and made us uh, get the point. You've been picked by rights for the last two Premier League games. How much does that mean to you? Oh, it's massive. Obviously, being, a Nor being from Norwich, um, Having a season ticket when I was about eight years old, coming up and watch, um, playing for my hometown is everything that I've wanted to do. So, um, But when you're on the pitch, you can't let them emotions. It's, it's a game of football, you need to do your job. Um, so I need to make sure I keep working hard to stay in the team because I know John's right behind me and hungry to get that place back. So um, it, it's up to me now. And you've had to wait a long time for this, haven't you? Yeah, I think it's about six and a half years um, as sort of number two, number three sort of thing. So um, I just. It's, it's, it's lovely to be in the team, but I need to make sure I work hard and stay there, like I just said. How does it change the dynamic between you and John Ruddy? Because you still work together every day, you're out there warming each other up before the game, but now it's you that, that's starting. It's football. Every goalkeeper knows there's only one of you can start. Um, so in training, in the warm-ups, when you're at work, you put everything beside you and you, just, you do your work. Um, I, I've done that every week for John for the last five years and he's been a true professional this last couple of weeks. He's, he hasn't changed, he's still been working hard, he's given me confidence, he spoke to me, he told me I deserve my chance and um, it's just, it, he's been a great professional. How much do you feel you've improved as a goalkeeper as well over the last couple of years to, to now have earned your chance? Oh, massively. Um, I think the one thing that gave me the hunger was being told that I wasn't needed at the club um, three, four years ago. Um, so I went out, got some games, gave me the hunger to want to play games and I come back and that's what I've been working towards. I've been at it every day and um, I'm just I'm just happy to get this chance and like I said all a few times now it's, it's in my hands and I need to make sure I stay there. So you go back three or four years and you probably thought this was not going to come? Yeah, I thought I was out of the club to be honest so um, I come back and um, just worked hard. Um, and. That's, and obviously now the manager's put faith in me, so that's what I needed, a manager that was going to give me the chance, and um, the gaffer's done that. And you were part of a team today in the second half that gave a really good account of itself against an Everton team that's in good form. Yeah, definitely. We, we went out there in the second half and we showed what we're capable of. Um, that first half wasn't the Norwich City that, that any of us know. Um, it was just one of them games where we started poorly and they started sharply, and when that happens, it's hard to get out of that rut. We got to half time, we regrouped, we got straight back out there and like I said, we won every tackle, we won every header and we made sure that we come away not losing the game with a, making sure we had a point and like, like I said, we could have had three. You've been voted man of the match today, what does that mean to you? Oh, it's massive, it's my first man of the match for the club, um, So, um, but it's my job, but them chances don't come my way, we keep a clean sheet, I'm probably more happy. Um, so it's, it's one of them where it's nice to have man in a match, but points are the main thing and we, we had a good point today. There's a nice bottle of champagne waiting there for you, will you keep that on ice for a while or is, will you have that tonight? No, no, that can wait, that can wait. <laughs> we've, we've got a big week next week so I need to make sure we're ready. Well done, Thank, Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.